As part of our infection control strategies, each healthcare professional must be aware of what personal protective equipment they must use. Personal protective equipment or PPEs prevent contact between the infectious agent or body fluids by creating a barrier between the healthcare professional and the infectious material or agent. Different PPEs that we must be aware of are the following. Gloves that protect the hands. Goggles that protect the eyes. Mask or respirators which protect the nose and the mouth. Aprons to protect the skin and clothing. And last but not the least, a face shield which protects the face, the nose, the eyes, the mouth and everything that you see in front of you. Now let's talk about the different factors that may affect your selection for PPEs. First, what is the type of exposure are you anticipating? Is it a splash, spray or just touch? Any isolation precautions that we must take into consideration? The durability and the appropriateness of your PPEs. Would I be using a gown or would I be using an apron? And of course, last but not the least, the fit. Is it too small or is it too large? Try to ask yourself a question. When should you wear gloves? Would it be by transporting a patient? By doing a simple IV cannulation? Or probably just taking a blood pressure? Try to figure that out. Use gloves when touching blood, body fluids, secretions, excretions, and contaminated items. Also for touching mucous membranes and non-intact skin. Most patient care activities require the use of a single pair of non-sterile gloves made of either latex, neutral, or vinyl. Due to the increased risk of allergies, latex material should no longer be used. Gloves should fit the user's hands comfortably, should not be too loose nor too tight. Let's talk about the do's and don'ts of glove use. Remember, work from clean to dirty. Touch clean body sites or surfaces before touching dirty or heavily soiled contaminated areas. Limit opportunities for touch contamination. Protect yourself, others, and the environment. Do not touch your face, such as adjusting your glasses, hijab, or rub the nose. Or adjust PPE with contaminated gloves. Don't touch environmental surfaces, such as the light switch or even the door handle. Change gloves during use if torn or after use on each patient. Remember, one glove, one patient. Discard in the nearest waste disposal and never wash or reuse disposable gloves. Question: When should you wear a gown or apron? Use gowns or aprons during procedures and patient care activities when contact of clothing, exposed skin with blood, body fluid secretion or excretion is anticipated. There are three factors that influence the selection of gown or apron. First is the purpose of use. Isolation gowns are generally the preferred PPE. Gowns should fully cover the body, fit comfortably over the body, and have long sleeves that fit snugly at the wrist. Aprons are used where there are limited contamination is anticipated. Question, when should you wear a mask any protective eyewear. Use face protection during patient care activities likely to generate splashes or sprays of blood, body fluids, secretions, or excretions. A combination of PPE types is available to protect all or parts of the face. Selection is determined by the isolation precautions required for the patient and or the nature of the patient contact. Goggles are used to protect the eyes. They should fit snugly over and around the eyes. Personal glasses are not to be used as a substitute for goggles. Anti-fog features improves clarity and remember, never use goggles without mask. A face shield protects the face, eyes, nose, and mouth. It should extend from the forehead over the chin and wrapped around the face. A respirator. A 
protects from inhalation of infectious aerosols. Most common use are N95, N99, and N100. It has a sub-micron filter capable of excluding particles that are less than 5 microns. Selection must consider the nature of exposure and risk involved. Prior to using a respirator, the employer is required to have you medically evaluated, fit test you for the appropriate size and type, and train you on how to use and when to use.